Today we're going to talk about our I.O. ports and the applications such as using your foot switch or enclosure or also indication lights. I.O. ports or input and output ports basically send signals to let the laser know, hey, this is happening or I want this to happen. With your machine on and light burn connected, simply go to device settings and then navigate over to the ports and laser settings. If you look up top, it says I.O. ports with numbers 0 through 15 either in red or green. Green means high or it's getting signal or voltage. This is where you can kind of customize things to do whatever you want. The big numbers to remember are 4, 14, and 15. Those ports are the ones that will actually do something. So for example, number 4 is an output port. Whenever the laser is firing, that number 4 is going to turn green. So to take advantage of that, we go to our busy light, go to our drop down, and then select number 4 and leave it at high. That means whenever there's an output signal high, that busy light activates. So if you look on the front of your machine, you'll notice that the lights, the SA laser logo and edge are breathing or turning on and off. By setting up our IO ports like this, those lights are gonna stay on whenever the laser's firing. So it's a good indication of, hey, another way to take advantage of IO ports is using your foot switch. Foot switches come in the accessory box with your laser. They look something like this and they plug into the back of your machine on the port called foot switch. Once the foot switch is attached, you'll notice that number 15 is now flashing. Number 15 is the I.O. port for our foot switch. You can really set your foot switch up to do whatever you want. So if we go to start marking, go to the drop down tab, select 15 high and hit OK. Then whenever I hit the foot switch, you'll see that it starts framing whatever I have selected and then start lasering. So those are the common functions of I.O. ports that we use here on our edge laser.